Welcome back to Self Built. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a setup of a hyperextension machine. And what that does is it helps isolate and exercise your spinal erectors or just your low back muscle area. This is a great area to focus on if you're having issues with stability or if your lower back is starting to hurt throughout the day. This is a good way to be able to train it without putting a lot of stress on it. Now, if you're doing this exercise and it's hurting, then definitely listen to your body and don't do that. But it's a great way to build up core strength and you can really help get some good muscle gains this way. Basically what you're doing is you're just doing, it's like a reverse crunch. So usually when you're on the ground, same flat like this, you just crunch up. Now this way, it's basically the opposite. So you're down here, bend over, and you just focus on that lower back, pulling your body up. And what you'll do is you'll use a bar to help pivot off of. I know this is a Smith machine bar. I'll show you a setup you can use if you don't have a Smith machine. But for this one, I'm just gonna throw a little pad on here. Not required, just makes it more comfortable. If you don't wanna have bone on metal, it's not the most comfortable thing. And all you gotta do as far as the height goes with the bar setup, if you're able to choose, I like to go just barely above the waist. This right here, it's not even perfect for me. I just go a little bit wider and you can't see where my feet are. I'll show you the flooring in a minute, but I have got rubber, I've got rubber flooring and I can also rest the back of my feet against my squat rack. So it gives you extra security. But if you're doing body weight, I mean, play with it. Not everyone's the same, but you can typically do it without having your feet braced against something. This is just a good way you can get an idea of how the feet placement and where the bar goes. So my hip bones are right here. So I'll lean on the bar, have it, my hip bones just barely above, and then I'll scoot my feet back. And in this time, I'm not touching the back of my squat rack. This is just shoes in a rubber floor. And what you'll do is once you're placed and set up, all you do is keep your back straight, lean forward, and then under control, pull your body back up, just like that. You wanna keep your lower back straight the whole time. Keep it under control, just like that. If you do have the luxury of a squat rack, I would recommend tucking your heels into it so that way if it does slide for any reason, you've got something that is not gonna move. And with having this bar here on a Smith machine, it's not going anywhere because it's, it's hooked in. Okay, so you can get a pretty good idea of the setup. So I've got my hips up here, bar, I'll bring it to where my hips are above the bar, and then I'll scoot back, so that way I'm more at an angle. With If you have rubber flooring and good grip shoes, you don't have to have something to rest your ankles against, but I would recommend just the more secure they are, the better, but just to point that you don't have to have that set up. So for example, this time I'm not hooking up my heels to anything, and then I'll just go down. You wanna keep your back straight the whole time as you're going down, and then use your lower back to pull your body up. Just like that. And with that, I'm not using anything to tuck my heels in, but if you're gonna do something like a weight, I've got this 45 kettlebell. I'm still not using anything to tuck my heels in. It just depends on what kind of grip you have to the flooring. And if you don't, then absolutely do anything you can to secure your feet. But honestly, I always secure my feet just in case. But it's just to prove a point that you don't have to have a squat rack to be able to do these. So with the heel, you just feel obviously a lot more secure. And you're able to do some weight to it too. Something to keep in mind when you're doing the hyperextensions. I know it sounds funny since it's called hyperextensions, but you don't want to hyperextend your back. You wanna keep your back straight. You don't wanna overextend your back. That's a good way to injure it. I realize most people aren't going to have a Smith machine. They'll most likely have a barbell with a bench setup. This is the setup you can use for that. And you can of course add a pad if you want to. 
So I'll just add it real quick. My homemade version of having a rack. If you haven't seen it, I've got some videos on how to build it. But with this, the only thing you have to do is if you look at how it holds the bar, you just want to be leaning against the way it holds. So if you lean this way, it's going to fall off <laughs> and you're not going to have a good time. So that way you just want to lean towards it. So that way it'll securely hold you in. And if you're not able to adjust the height, you can put some plates or some steps. That way you can line up your hips to get a really good way to just kind of lean on the bar and get that same motion and benefit that you can get from a hyperextension machine. So it's not the same machine as a hyperextension at say the gym, but it is creative and it gives you that same benefit. So definitely give it a try. I've been doing it for a while. It feels really good. I definitely enjoy it. I hope it helps you guys out. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. Also subscribe as well. And if you can follow me on the talk and the gram, or you can buy some sweet self-built merch in the description below. And let me know what you think of this setup. If you've got any ideas that can make it better, or if you've tried it and what your thoughts are. And we'll see you next time on self -Bill.